Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm going to take you through Harness. So this is harness.io which uh, allows you to centralize all your pipelines, builds, CI CD, GitHub repositories, everything. Uh, all the it is a nice beautiful UI that it will provide to see what's going on behind the scene and uh, I'm going to walk you through how to use this. If you are new, if you haven't heard about this before, please be with me. I'm going to walk you through each and everything uh, in very nutshell. So click on get started. And uh, you can, uh, I'll prefer to go with the uh, GitHub. So you don't have to connect GitHub separately later and uh, just provide your number. It, it won't ask for the OTP, I guess, and you're good to go. So this is something which is uh, very exciting. All your continuous CICD integrations, uh, deployments to Azure cloud, uh, any AWS, oh, sorry, AWS, Azure, Google, anything, just anything. You can connect anything to anything in here. You can see what's going on, everything. So I'm going to choose this continuous integration, which runs the uh, builds. Uh, you can have your harness cloud. Uh, it won't ask for the it, it will ask for the credit card but won't take the money so don't worry uh, it won't uh, verify your credit card so that is the good thing so just feel free to add and once you do that you will see the overview here uh, it will in behind the scene you can see this is how it will look like when we'll create the pipeline and to create the pipeline of course you I'm gonna create this for the very first time so I'll say first and later I'll say a remote repository because I, I don't want to go with the inline one harness. I don't have a harness provides their own code repository uh, that I'm not using currently because I am new. So I'm go with the third party here. You can choose your connector connector where you can set your new connector of like Bitbucket, any other repositories uh, that you are using, you can connect directly. All you have to do is to connect via your GitHub access token. So let's go to the GitHub and uh, create your uh, new token from here. If you are not aware of this, go to the developer settings and inside developer settings, you can uh, create your personal access token that it, it will ask in order to connect. And once you do that, I, I don't want this. So I'll just try to hide this maybe. I don't need this. So I'll choose the first one, apply selected. And here you go. It will load all your repositories. I'll choose any hello world kind of uh, repository from here because it 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 will show all the repositories that are here. These are the repositories that I'm looking for and it will automatically fetch the branch and uh, later you can start. And this is the UI looks like all the things that you can do by clicking in here. You can let's suppose you can build something. You can name like this uh, my dev environment. You can uh, have your third party repository from here. You can choose the connector. Again, the connector will be the same. The repository name is something that you can get hard coded uh, like this. If you wanted to do like this, uh, set up the stage. This is how you set up the stage. It will ask for the credit card maybe in this step that you can enter. Uh, I did it already. Okay, no need to worry. Uh, this uh, most of the developers have looked uh, forward to they're using it already on the production environment. So this is really very promising. I'll say uh, Docker you can choose if you are uh, you can choose to run builds on your local machine, but I'll go with the harness cloud and that uh, you can choose Kubernetes and a number of other things process will remain the same. So I'm not worried of that. So let's go with the harness continue create a new step and that where you add your new step and you see bunch of these options you can connect to a number of things but i'll go with the simplest command run command because i'll uh, quickly check my repository in the package.json i should have a uh, commands uh, that is node app.js in the package.json i have the command like start so i'll start this okay so I don't want to start this in generally we don't start this what we do is first thing that we do npm install and later we do uh, first we install all the things that is needed we choose the node 
docker image and then we do the further things but assuming that harness will provide everything by default so i'll say npm start okay npm start will allow run this infinity this is not the right way but to test this i'm gonna save and apply the changes so this is the first thing that i did next thing if you wanted to set up a group use this template save this template you can do this uh push to ecr definitely if you wanted to run this thing in background you can run this thing like npm start uh, i was expecting to run this thing in a background so what i'll do is i'll edit this one i'll click on this i'll say npm i just don't want this discard the changes okay i don't want this i just wanted to cross let's start with step by step so save the changes uh it will create the pipeline of course so make sure the branch name that you are looking for uh, commit in a new branch and that branch uh, will say patch or master patch one okay uh and this is it i guess so it will clone uh it will connect to your code and it's uh, once this is validating something and once this is done uh, we are gonna run this and what it will do is it's gonna fetch your master branch and uh, it's gonna run the pipeline and that's what i wanted to see uh, this for the very first time that this is running in the here you see all the logs in here that is the beautiful thing that uh, all the logs that you can see in here uh, you can maximize this if you want you can minimize this this is how it looks like and uh, it's gonna pull that uh, it's gonna create a new image in that new image it's gonna set up according to your command and uh, let's see in here uh, you see two second durations and everything input output everything that you can see in here and once this is up it apply already the master branch no logs okay and this is executing and it's listening port 3000 so that is expected okay it means it's running i can't see the output but i know that this is running so as of now you see the status is running i can edit this pipeline i can make the changes on the go and i can abort this pipeline as well if i want or you can click on this little icon on here but before that i'll go to the home page i'll see i got total one build uh and i got success rate zero because this is infinity running i got zero failed because i wanted to stop this once i stop this it will go to the abort state i'll confirm i'll provide the nodes some uh npm install running forever so that is the problem that i need to fix and run this in the background then i go to the home i see uh, one got failed and this is the overview and this is where you manage your on all the projects in here and number of projects that you can manage in here for your organizations i have a default one you can collaborate with n number of people accounts you can manage your n number of accounts in here that is good thing and in here you see continuous delivery and gitops feature flags a number of other things that you can do in here okay chaos engineering much more so this is more than what we are looking at okay oh, yeah i can go to the add and deploy if i go to the deploy i can see uh, the a number of possibilities are here i see aws stuff you can connect aws sam cli you can connect you can set up aws sam cli i'll say deploy i go to set up the page in here and provide the further services what the services that we are asking for create a new service that that might be in line or repository base a number of other things that you can do in here that i'm uh, not gonna go in this first basic tutorial so all the things that please uh, go and check it out this is really very really nice according to your choice you can have uh, you can create uh, builds you can uh, have over control over all of your builds compiled few compiled yaml how it looks like okay so this is pretty much it for this tutorial i guess uh, because this is very beautiful i enjoyed a lot uh, you can provide a self hosted locally running platform uh, you can connect to i saw the bunch of options in here that you can connect this to anywhere anywhere meaning AWS you can have your Jira approvals from here 
you can um, have your custom approvals harness approval if something is doing on uh, some of your junior developers what they are doing you can keep track of that how many failures that he did you can have list of all of these things that helps us to manage the infrastructure and that is what uh, I personally like okay uh, you can deploy it to cloud lambda maybe AWS cloud AWS lambda uh, you can set up test cases maybe a number of test cases that you can set up in here so this is how it looks like this is how it works so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed uh till then see you soon tata bye bye